Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, we're tracking yet another big low on the way later this week. It's going to drive in more wind, more rain, a few thunderstorms, and it's going to whip up the west coast. The seas are going to get quite rough. So we've got quite a lot to talk about. We'll kick off though with the Tuesday animated wind map and you might have noticed it's a bit warmer around the country as a result of that northerly wind coming down. Not everyone had the warmth. The frosty weather drifted further to the east of the North Island this morning, the last area to get that warmer northerly which will arrive in your place today. So things are about to warm up. So this is how we look for Wednesday. That front passes through, the one that's coming through with the northerlies ahead of it. So you'll wake up maybe a little bit of rain in the North Island, then it clears away as the day goes on. And as the day goes on, the big low we were just talking about in the Southern Ocean, it moves on in. Central air pressure right down around 970 hectopascals. The lower the air pressure goes, the more unstable the atmosphere gets, and we tend to get lots of squally heavy showers that form around it. So we'll notice that building up on Wednesday, though as I say, we're actually in a bit of a transition on Wednesday as that cold front from Tuesday from today moves away and before the big low starts to move in. So by Thursday the low is properly moving in, it's also starting to weaken as it moves into the Southern Alps but also it's breaking apart and there's a secondary area of low pressure forming just southeast of Dunedin that is going to send itself southwards that helps weaken the main low itself that is moving up the country. But as you can see for Thursday, windy around the North Island with west to northwest winds, strong and blustery at times, showers, some could be a bit heavy, there might be a few thunderstorms in there as well as that whole system starts to move through. But the eastern side and southeastern side of the South Island, you're looking mostly dry. Now with all that wind, blowing energy across the water, it's going to lift up the wave heights. So we're talking about some really significant waves way out at sea, 10 meters plus. Now for our coastal side, we're looking at that red and orange, that's five, six, seven meter swells, waves coming through. That's pretty big uh, if you're talking about wave heights. And that is not just for Thursday, but also for Friday. Uh, as we get in towards Friday, those bigger areas of waves move closer towards us. But there will be some sort of easing later in the day, but either way, Thursday, Friday, really a no-go for the west coast when you're talking about waves of over five meters, sometimes seven or eight meters in there for you. So let's have a look at Friday itself. You can see why those big marine conditions are coming through. We've got a deep low out in the Tasman. It's kind of like throwing a rock in a pond. It just makes all the ripples go out. So that is causing the ripples. It's also driving in another burst of rain on Friday. There again might be a few isolated thunderstorms as we start to transition from that warmer weather to the colder weather. And that southerly change comes into the South Island on Friday. It does get colder, but as you can see, it's also mostly dry. And so Saturday is also a mainly dry day across the country, but now that colder southerly moves over the North Island. The low moves out to the east and it should start to deepen again out there. That could see strong winds, strong southerlies lingering around Hawke's Bay and Gisborne with rain and showers there for much of the day. But elsewhere, it does improve as the day goes on. We've got a cold Saturday night on the way, but notice the slight northwest breeze there that will help to lift temperatures up in the very lower South Island. And our final map for Sunday shows high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south, that brings in the spring westerlies. That's what I like to call them because it is like spring. We're getting one day that's warm, one day that's cold, and a lot of windy westerlies. I think it's pretty safe to say the spring pattern is starting to arrive. That's all from me. We'll update you again tomorrow with the latest.